And it seems the Simpsons just can't wait for next season to deal with Donald Trump. Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're diving into the uncanny world of The Simpsons, the show that has astoundingly predicted some of the most significant events in modern history. From technological advancements to political upheavals, The Simpsons seems to have a crystal ball. But first, let's take a look at the history of this iconic show and its creators. The Simpsons was created by Matt Groening, James Lawrence, and Sam Simon. It premiered in 1989, quickly becoming a cultural phenomenon. Groening, inspired by his own family and everyday life, set out to create a satirical portrayal of American society. Over the years, the show has become renowned not just for its humor, but also for its eerily accurate predictions of future events. These aren't just lucky guesses, they are uncanny reflections of reality, often with deeper connections to the world around us. Let's start with one of the most chilling predictions. In the episode, The City of New York vs. Homer Simpson, which aired on September 21, 1997, a magazine cover shows a dollar sign in front of the Twin Towers, eerily resembling the 9-11 attacks that happened four years later on September 11, 2001. This image has sparked countless debates about the show's predictive power. In 1995, the episode, Lisa's Wedding, aired on March 19, depicted Lisa's future fiancé using a smartwatch, a full 20 years before they became mainstream. Today, smartwatches are a common gadget, showcasing The Simpsons' ability to foresee technological advancements. Another unnatural prediction came from a 1997 episode where Marge suggests Bart read a book titled, Curious George and the Ebola Virus. This episode, Lisa Sachs, aired on October 19, seven years before the Ebola outbreak in West Africa that captured global headlines in 2014, making this prediction particularly unsettling. Moving into the realm of politics, The Simpsons has also made waves with its predictions. In 2000, Bart to the Future offered a glimpse of a future presidency where Lisa Simpson inherits quite a budget crunch from her predecessor. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. A businessman turned politician much like Donald Trump. This episode aired on March 19, 2000, long before Trump's presidency in 2016, turned heads when similar scenarios unfolded in reality. Even more remarkably, in another episode, Trumptastic Voyage, aired on July 7, 2015, The Simpsons envisioned Donald Trump running for president and winning, capturing the public's imagination with its seemingly outlandish satire. Few could have predicted that a cartoon satire would foreshadow a real-life political landscape. Beyond major world events, The Simpsons has also tapped into cultural and technological trends. From predicting Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox in the 1998 episode, When You Dish Upon a Star, which aired on November 8, to envisioning the rise of virtual reality in everyday life in the 2012 episode, Holidays of Future Past, which aired on December 11, the show's insights into society are often ahead of their time. Perhaps most chilling of all was the 1993 episode, Marge in Chains, where Springfield faces a pandemic sparked by a deadly flu from Asia, eerily echoing aspects of the COVID-19 pandemic decades later in 2020. This episode aired on May 6, and its themes of panic, misinformation, and social disruption hit uncomfortably close to home. Lastly, the 2000 episode, Bart to the Future, aired on March 19, showcased a female president wearing an outfit remarkably similar to what Kamala Harris wore during her inauguration as vice president in 2021. This striking visual resemblance has sparked conversations about the show's uncanny ability to foresee political developments. So, are these predictions merely coincidental, or is there something more profound at play? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.